carrying on with the overview of the interface. In this exercise, I'm going to start a new project. This time, I'll click on the systems template to start a new project. And in this exercise, we're looking at the plumbing and piping panel. As with ducts, we have pipe placeholders and pipes. So let's start with a pipe placeholder. I'll click on the tool and we're given the list of the pipes included in the template. I choose the relevant one and click to draw my pipe run. Notice how we have the diameter specified on the options bar and the offset from the current level. Click on modify to end the command. So let's see what happens with the pipe tool. Click on pipe, check my diameter, offset, pipe type, and create the run. Click on modify to end the command. As I scroll in, you can see that these runs look very similar. The pipe placeholders look the same to the pipes, apart from the fittings. And just as we've seen with ducts and duct placeholders, the difference between these is that I can select a pipe or a pipe run and add insulation. Whereas the pipe placeholder doesn't allow me to add insulation, but I can convert this. This view is set to course level of detail. Let's see what happens when we change it to medium. Nothing changes. We'll change it to fine. And that's where we can now see the full size of the pipe. So the difference we're seeing here between pipes and ducts is that pipes will show as a 3D object in fine level of detail. Take a look at that in the 3D view. At coarse level of detail, we have single lines. At medium level of detail, we have single lines. And at fine level of detail, we have double lines. Change back to your plumbing plan. And let's look at the additional tools on that panel. Parallel pipes. Here I can create parallel runs of pipes. If I look at the contextual toolbar, we can specify the horizontal number of pipes and the vertical number of pipes and the offset between them. Now, if I hover over a pipe, you can see that run being created. If I press the tab key, I can extend that run through the entire length of that run of pipes. Left mouse click, and that creates my parallel pipes. Let's check that out in 3D. This tool will only work for fully defined pipes, not pipe placeholders. I'll go back to my plan view. I can also add pipe fittings, such as elbows, reducers, crosses, and couplings, pipe accessories. Clicking on the pipe accessory tool shows me that no pipe accessories are currently loaded. Would I like to load one now? Let's click on yes. This brings up the load family dialog box and in here I can browse to the correct folder and choose the accessory I want to load and place it in the model. We have flex pipes. Press modify. And as with the pipe and the pipe placeholder, we have different types. In this particular template, we only have one type. And then we have plumbing fixtures and sprinkler heads. We will be seeing these tools in much more detail as we go through the DVD.